Hey friends, welcome again to my channel Technoprera. Today I am going to speak about the latest announcement by Google on uh, development forum which you, which had held last week in California, US. There were several announcements made by Google, but I would like to highlight a couple of latest key features which which are like upcoming features which Google has announced. So let's have a look one by one all the feature and I will try to describe each and every feature in uh, little details. So first feature is uh, Gmail autocomplete feature. Now with the help of AI you just need to keep pressing the tab after writing few words and Google can autocomplete your mail your entire email can be auto completed google has started rolling out this feature as a beta and uh, as soon as you type the word google will suggest you the autofill uh, sentence and if you press the tab it's done just hitting the tab the sentence will get auto complete the second Good announcement which I liked is Google Photos. There are a couple of uh, announcement. When you want to share the photo, suppose uh, as demoed in uh, Google Summit, uh, suppose you are in some wedding place and there are group photos and uh, now photos can ident identify your friends and in a single tab uh, you can share the photo to your friends. Yeah, just a single tap, it will it will highlight your friend's name, seeing that uh, friend's uh, image, uh, AI inside uh, Google uh, Photos. It will suggest you the friend's name, and if you just tap share to the specific person, that's all. The, your photos will be shared to that particular person. The second upcoming feature, of course, which I like it is any black and white photos the Google can enhance the color and it can make the image colorful naturally uh, Google has announced uh, this upcoming feature and uh, they demoed it I have taken some extract from the summit and it's here smart actions right in context for you to act on say for example you went to a wedding and you're looking through those pictures, we understand your friend Lisa is in the picture, and we offer to share the three photos with Lisa, and with one click, those photos can be sent to her. So the anxiety where everyone is trying to get the picture on their phone, I think we can make that better. Say, for example, if the photo in the same wedding, if the photos are underexposed, our AI systems offer a suggestion to fix the brightness right there, one tap, and we, we can fix the brightness for you. Or if you took a picture of a document which you want to save for later, we can recognize, convert the document to PDF, and make it. So this is a wonderful feature. The other key feature which they introduced is in Google Map. So Google Map, uh, they have introduced uh, AI. I uh, mean, AI was already there, but the, this AI will help you finding the direction. Uh, uh, now Google Map can take uh, help of your camera. Suppose you are stuck somewhere and if you, uh, if you want to find in which, suppose there, uh, you are in a uh, road where the road uh, bifurcates into two directions and you are not sure whether you want to move left or right, you just take a snap of the street and uh, there is a huge arrow key which will guide you towards the direction you should move. Not only that, there will be a graphical image of uh, a kind of fox which will also uh, kind of provide you guidance where you should move. So this is also a useful feature. With, with the help of Google Map using the voice assistant, you can also share your actual location to your uh, uh, loved ones and your uh, friends. So uh, suppose you are starting from your office 
and uh, you, you ask uh, your uh, Google Assistant about the estimated ETA, estimated time to reach and uh, the Google Assistant will not only provide you the details in a single command you can share your ETA to your friends and relatives. So like when you're in the car, let's say you should stay focused on driving. So let's say I'm heading home from work. I have Google Maps showing me the fastest route during rush hour traffic. Hey Google, send Nick my ETA and play some hip hop. Okay, letting Nick know you're 20 minutes away and check out this hip hop music station on YouTube. So it's so convenient to share my ETA with my husband with just a simple voice command. I'm excited to share that the assistant will come to navigation in Google Maps this summer. Apart from that, uh, there are uh, other major improvement on Google Assistant. Now uh, with uh, upcoming uh, Google Assistant, you need not to tell every time, OK Google or Hey Google. You need to just speak once, OK Google, and it will recognize and you can provide multiple commands and Google can now uh, understand multiple commands. Not only that, Google Assistant can be used for uh, booking an appointment and uh, on behalf of you, you can call a business and fix an appointment. Google uh, has, uh, meaning uh, concerned at Google, Mr. Sundar Pichai, has demonstrated this feature uh, in uh, summit and uh, there were two call real call demoed by google uh, booking an appointment to uh, real business here it is so happening out here hi i'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client um i'm looking for something on may 3rd sure give me one second mm -hmm. <laughs> sure what time are you looking for around at 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like. What service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. See how may I hear you? Hi. Um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people? When? Um, Today? Next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually, we need to for like upper like uh, five people. For few, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the seventh. Oh no, it's not too busy. You you, you can come for four people, okay? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Thanks. Yeah. Bye bye. In, in addition to that, uh, Google is trying to make uh, children polite. So when, when you say please, Google, will, Google Assistant will appreciate your politeness and uh, it, will, it will give some kind words. So this is long pending request from many parents to in effort to make the children uh, uh, polite. So that is, that is also an important feature. In addition to that, Google has also introduced a newest software uh, of Android, which is called Android P. Uh, this Android P has uh, several modifications, like Google wants to, like iPhone X, Google wants to remove the button, and all the buttons will be on screen, and there will be a slider. Uh, in the interface uh, and apart from that Google wants you to spend more time with the family so there are a couple of uh, action Google has defined in Android P where if you flip the phone it will go into the kind of silent mode 
and uh, apart from that google will also if you set specific time it's called wind up time and uh, if you set specific wind up time after that the screen will turn black and white and uh, phone will tell you hey this is time for sleep or rest so this is also a useful feature which i found in addition to that there is a adaptive battery ai based feature which they have introduced to so, uh, control the battery usage intelligently it's actually uh, handled by android itself and uh, depend upon the users the battery will intelligently get controlled and you will get longer battery hours with the same uh, mh which you were using in previous previous version of uh, android and in addition to that there are some uh, interface changes and of course uh, there are very useful feature which uh, they have demonstrated like if you have any text suppose you have any text of singer and uh, if you highlight that text google os will suggest you android p will suggest you would you like to play the song or would you like to identify the person or there are depend upon your usage the ai based software will guide you what action you may want to like to perform adaptive battery uses on device machine learning to figure out which apps you'll use in the next few hours and which you won't use until later if at all today and then with this understanding the operating system adapts to your usage patterns so that it spends battery only on the apps and services that you care about and the results are really promising we're seeing a 30% reduction in cpu wake ups for apps in general and this combined with other performance improvements including running background processes on the small cpu cores is resulting in an increase in battery for many users it's pretty cool with android p we were introducing a new on device machine learning feature we call adaptive brightness adaptive brightness learns how you like to set the brightness slider given the ambient lighting and then does it for you in a power efficient way so you'll literally see the brightness slider move as the phone adapts to your preferences and it's extremely effective in fact we're seeing almost half of our test users now make fewer manual brightness adjustments compared to any previous version of android we're also making the ui more intelligent last year we introduced the concept of predicted apps a feature that places the next apps the os anticipates you need on the path you'd normally follow to launch that app and it's very effective with an almost 60% prediction rate with android p we're going beyond simply predicting the next app to launch to predicting the next action you want to take we call this feature app actions so let's take a look at how it works at the top of the launcher you can see two actions one to call my sister fiona and another to start a workout on strava for my evening run So what's happening here is that the actions are being predicted based on my usage patterns. The phone is adapting to me and trying to help me get to my next task more quickly. As another example, if I connect my headphones, Android will surface an action to resume the album I was listening to. To support app actions, developers just need to add an actions.xml file to their app. And then actions surface not just in the launcher but in smart text selection the play store google search and the assistant take google search we're experimenting with different ways to surface actions for apps you've installed and use a lot for example i'm a big fandango user so when i search for the new avengers movie infinity war i get in, in addition to regular suggestions i get an action to the fandango app to buy tickets pretty cool and the first striking thing you'll notice is the single clean home button and the design recognizes a trend towards smaller screen bezels and places an emphasis on gestures over multiple buttons at the edge of the screen so when i swipe up i'm immediately brought to the overview where i can resume apps i've recently used i also get five predicted apps at the bottom of the screen to save me time now if i'd continue to swipe up or i swipe up a second time i get to all apps So architecturally what we've done is combine the all apps and overview spaces into one. 
And the swipe up gesture works from anywhere, no matter what app I'm in, so that I can quickly get back to all apps in overview without losing the context I'm in. And if you prefer, you can also use the quick scrub gesture by sliding the home button sideways to scroll through your recent set of apps like so. Now, one of the nice things about the larger horizontal overview is that the app content is now glanceable. So you can easily refer back to information in a previous app. Uh, even more is we've extended smart text selection to work in overview. So for example, if I tap anywhere on the phrase, the killers, all of the phrase will be selected for me. And then I get an action to listen to it on Spotify, like so. And We've extended smart text selections neural network to recognize more entities like uh, sports teams and music artists uh, and flight codes and more. I've been using this new navigation system for the last month, and I absolutely love it. It's simplified volume controls here. Uh, they're vertical and located beside the hardware buttons, so they're intuitive. But the key difference is that the slider now adjusts the media volume by default, because that's the thing you want to change most often. And for the ringer volume, all you really care about is on, silent, and off, like so. OK. We've also greatly simplified rotation. And if you're like me and hate your device rotating at the wrong time, you'll love this feature. So right now, I'm in the locked rotation mode. And let me launch an app. And you'll notice that when I rotate the device, a new rotation button appears on the nav bar. And then I can just tap on it and rotate under my own control. You can tell the Google Assistant what time you aim to go to bed. And when that time arrives, it will switch on Do Not Disturb and fade the screen to grayscale, which is far less stimulating for the brain and can help you set the phone down. It's such a simple idea, but I found it's amazing how quickly I put my phone away when all my apps go back to the days before color TV. So this is all about the Google I.O. Summit and the new feature introduced by Google. It will take some time, but the features are looking very promising. And uh, it looks like it will give a tough time to iOS. Uh, anyway, the time will tell us the, uh, the strength of the OS and who is winning. But definitely, iOS, it seems they need to work out a lot if they want to match the feature which Google is providing. So, that's all for today. See you soon. Till then, if you like this video, as usual, please like it and you can share it to your friend. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel and press the like button. Also, press the bell button in this uh, beneath of the video so that every time you will get the pop notification whenever I publish the new video so that you will get updated regularly. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. See you soon.